Okay. So this is, this is an old pen and ink drawing I did probably five or six years ago. Um, I paint more now, but uh, you can see like um, I was talking with the stippling to do the shadow and the gradient. You can see it in, in there. Um, and then the thick and thinness of lines, you know, th this outline is thicker than the line for the eye um, or the taco. And the thicker in the background, dividing the space, the further you go away, the thinner my lines get. And th this is a full range from uh, using that 1.0 all the way down to the, um, oh, that 0 0.03. But what I want to show you guys today is uh, the optional supply um, of doing the alcohol ink washes in the background. So that, that, that's, that's how I got these cool drops and everything. Um, be careful because, I mean, I, I used Frisket, and that's another supply you can get if, you, if you'd like. Um, you'll probably use it in a painting class, and it's a couple bucks, but don't feel like you have to get it. Um, you block off where uh, you don't want everything to go, and then, um, and then you're able to go free. But I'm going to show you how to do it with, without without doing anything. This 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 is more of an experiment, of course. So I have uh, three of these alcohol inks here. I have a warm gray three, a cool gray five, and a yellow gold. So all muted colors because we don't want to get too colorful because we we're still experimenting and playing with value. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm just going to start dropping. You can even play up on your paper right here. Get drip, get drips. You can sling it. That's how you get more splatter patterns like that. And what's fun about this is it'll, it'll dry very fast. It's soaking up on the paper. But while it's wet, you can go in and on top of it, it'll start to merge with the other colors and make another little pattern. And you can make this as busy or as um, flat as you want. Like, um, say you just wanted to paint a solid, solid background. You could come here with this and a brush down really quick. Or even put out a little bowl and you can get flat color. Just like that. But I, I, I don't really want the flat color. I want to see the weird patterns. So I want to layer. I want to move my paper all around. Maybe take the brush in again. Get some cool brush strokes. Really abstract, really fun, um, unpredictable for sure. However, I mean, isn't that part of the fun? Now the ones I'm using are Copics, and they're they're expensive. I all all my stuff is Copic because I really like that brand. But you can get uh, other alcohol inks that are um, made for other systems or for crafting. Um, rather than fine art. Uh, at Michael's for, I want to say 10 bucks, you can get like three different colors or something like that. See how that, that affects the paper. Um, you can also uh, do salt lifts, um, sprinkle a little bit of table salt on your paper, and then you'll, uh, you'll do your ink stuff, and then 
after it's dry, you can brush off that salt and you'll have all sorts of different little um, patterns from that salt, similar to what's happening up top here. And this does take a lot of ink. You'll probably use all your, all your uh, ink you buy, but that, that's okay. That's why you get it. The longer you push on your tube or whatever the compartment is, the more it's gonna come out, obviously, but the longer it's gonna stay wet so you can work in into that. It just makes the coolest little little patterns to see what it's doing up here. And a lot of those patterns are gonna stay even if you start brushing and it'll get a more muted marble, less intense, but oh man, look at that, that's beautiful. Also, you know, since everything's so controlling with everything, if you are a messy person, you might really enjoy this as like a breath of fresh air. It's got enough dark spots just to finish it up with the light stuff. You can also get an eyedropper and do, do it the same way. Um, at porches, they have these cool acrylic inks. So I have one in each of these places. I think I only have like a, one color. Yeah. So um, I have this acrylic ink that's really nice and vibrant. You can use that on top. It still doesn't have the same thing, but it is the same consistency uh, as, your, as your ink you're using comes with an eyedropper and then I can just have like a little pop, a little pop of color in there. Make it directional. All right. And then I'm going to pause this video and wait for this to dry and I'll show you what to do next.